well, it's two o'clock. It's time for my DoorDash shift. As you can see right here, it is it ain't even busy. But the only option I got is to try to do some earn by time. As you can see here, look, $15 an hour active time. Let's go ahead and click that. You can see it. We in there. Dash now, earn by time. Now at least I'm we. good morning. It is raining there. I'm eating me some carrots right now. I had to give me something to my system. You see where we at? We at Sam's Club. Gas is $2.95. Get us on in there. Get us some petrol for the metro. So we can get out and make some money. Make some money. Yes, first thing in the morning. Go ahead, fill the tank up. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we filling up the gas tank right here at Sam's Club. We finna go out and do some gig work, guys. I'm finna head to a whole different zone. Might turn on DoorDash. Boy, look, I'm out early in the morning. It is 7.45 in the morning, guys. I ain't got time to play no games. I got me a five hour energy so I don't get tired. I got me some carrots right here. I had me some baby carrots sitting in the fridge. I said, let me throw them carrots in the lunch bag and go ahead and get it moving. Cause I need to make sure I got some energy, but I got to be out here all day, bro. I got to make me like hundred dollars today. So I'm on it. $30.26, 10 gallons, built that tank up. Now we ready to go ahead and make that money. <clears throat> so we doing DoorDash only. So we gonna try to get on the schedule out here in Wood River. See if we can work a different zone in DoorDash and maybe make some money that way. Because DoorDash, at least working in my normal zone, has been trash. I've been having to do something different. So now we're doing something really different and moving to a different area. And we're finna see if we can get on the DoorDash schedule up there. How long will we have to wait? Who knows? But we finna see. All right. So we here. We made it to Wood River. I'm sitting in a CVS parking lot right now. I said, you know, we're pull over. we got Family Dollar right there. We got a little Mexican restaurant right here. They got a drive through pickup. We got... A couple spots down that way also. And I know it's a Burger King, a McDonald's. Look, Jack in the Box right there. So we got some merchants to mess with. I say, okay. DoorDash, gave me a, they gave me a little shift. They let me hop on. Hold on now. I got it paused. We got 22 minutes to unpause. I got two hours on this shift. The time right now is 9.30. Let's go ahead, click in. I don't see no hot spots. There's no redness anywhere on this map at all, guys. Let's see what the first order gonna be. Hopefully it's something good with a tip attached to it. You know, I don't know if I can help it. I got to get my ratings up, guys. I'm not getting no orders. And I'm not trying to go for top dash or nothing like that. And it's kind of already too late because it's the beginning of the month. But I want to begin to make a little bit of money with DoorDash. And the only way to do that is get your AR up. So far, they ain't sending me nothing, though. We're sitting at a 4.91 on the customer rating, 22%. 100% on the completion rate. I haven't dropped any orders and a 94 for the on time early still got that contract violation sitting up there too So I need to make some money. I need to get up to 50% to see good orders. How are we gonna do that? I don't know but I'm gonna see if switching zones makes a difference. This is what I'm talking about right here I've been online 30 minutes haven't received not one order now. I know it's early I know it ain't you know time but still if you're gonna give me a shift for two hours DoorDash at least send me your order Look at this, like this zone chopped up right here. For the last 10 minutes, it's been basically great. If you're gonna let me on the schedule, at least let it be some orders out there for me to decline or something. Let me in the comments below if you experiencing the same thing when you hop on the platform early in the morning. Are they letting you on and it ain't no orders even out there to be seen or what is going on? We gonna hold tight. I still got another hour and a half on this DoorDash ship. Let's see if we can at least make a few dollars. I've had this thing on for a full hour. It's 10.38 now. Where is that? Like, come on, Dash. What is going on? How is Dash supposed to make money like this? We finna see her because, like, what's going This is why you need to be multi-apping, guys. You see it right there. Zero dollars so far. Ain't got no orders. Ain't even got one to decline so far. So, if you like this video, let me know in the comments because, look, FDA Dash and Trader with a 22%, you ain't. I ain't making no money on DoorDash. Not in the early morning time, that's for sure. Sure. Of course, yeah, I'm already dashing. Now it's telling me, so maybe they kicked me out of my dash. No, nah, let's return the dash. No, nah, they didn't kick me out. I'm still in there. But this is the things that we have to deal with as DoorDash drivers. Like, over set us out here, I'm just probably not getting none. And that's the thing. How hard is it going to be to make $100 a day with DoorDash? Well, from the looks of it, it's going to be mighty hard because if you ain't getting no orders, even if they bad orders, you ain't got nothing to work with. And uh, I guess I could go 10 miles north. Look at that. They got a little hot spot 10 miles north. And that's going to be a waste of gas if I go up there because I may not get no orders up there. That's a gamble. But we're going to sit here for another hour, see if we can get an order or two. Kind of just got the dogs in the back of the pickup. They is tweaking. Look at that. Dogs just up on the side. That is crazy. Look at this. These dogs don't even care. 
Yes, it's moving, Fido. Get down. So I think I've come to a conclusion. If I'm sitting here with this low acceptance rate and I want to do any DoorDash, only got one choice. I'm going to have to do Earn by Time. Because I, I, it's been two hours. I ain't getting out one order. And I switched locations. I went to other, I pulled up at McDonald's. I pulled up at CVS. I pulled up at Family Dollar. You know, um, I got to go get something to eat. I was able to schedule one more shift, 2 p.m. to 2.30. I'm finna try out earn by time. That's the only way I'm gonna get orders, guys. And you know what? At least I won't be knowing if it's a tip up front. And it won't trigger my emotions and make me not want to do it at all. Because I'm gonna be honest with you. When I'm seeing, you know, money ratio upside down orders on earn by order, it makes it rough. And it makes a toll on my mental. So this is what we're gonna do. We wasted two hours this morning. Okay, cool. We'll take that off. DoorDash is forcing me to do earn by time. I'm going to cave. I'm going to do earn by time. I only got a 30 minute shift. Normally when I do earn by time, they let me extend it because they know that I'm doing the worst of the worst office. So they extend my shift in. But I have no schedule. You know, I have that schedule for the rest of the week on DoorDash. I need, I'm going to try my best to get on top of it and get on the schedule every day when it open up. But it's hard. I got to do earn by time, guys. We finna go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to get me some lunch right now because this is crazy. I've been out here two hours. Look. I just turned on Uber because I'm like, what am I doing out here? Waiting for no reason? You know, I, so look, we're going to get another shot. Earn by time, take two. Now, the last three times I gave Earn by time a shot, I was highly disappointed. Multiple no-tip customers in a row. Customers that left difficult delivery instructions. Either didn't value our time or made it extra difficult to complete the delivery. You know, so the worst thing on DoorDash Earn by time but when you're the fastest dash alive, the worst thing in the world is to be held up by a slow merchant. So I'm gonna have all these things to deal with, but I guess you know what? You guys like to see me suffer anyways. You like to see me out here delivering to miserable clowns. Look at this. Here go a miserable clown right here. 650 for 12.6 miles. Whoever you are that's ordering this hibachi sushi, I want you to know something right now. I want you to know that I'm highly disappointed in you. For one, you're 12 miles away. Why would you do that? Not only to the customer, not only to the, but to yourself as a customer. Why would you do that to yourself? Shame on you. And shame on all these no-tip DoorDash customers that I'm inevitably going to encounter later on when I go out for this uh, lunch earned by time. I'm not looking forward to this. But I got to do something. I need to be able to hop on this platform and make a couple dollars. I don't need to break the bank. I need to be able to use it in conjunction. And right now, with this acceptance rate in that guy, there is no conjunction app multi app going on when it comes to DoorDash. I think in the last three days, I did one order for $8. One order. That's crazy. We got to change this. So this is what we're going to do. I'm not excited about it, but this is what happened. Well, it's 2 o'clock. It's time for my DoorDash shift. As you can see right here, it is. it ain't even busy. But the only option I got is to try to do some earn by time. As you can see here, look, $15 an hour active time. Let's go ahead and click that. You can see it. We in there. Dash now, earn by time. Now, at least I'm showing me a little hot spot now. And I presume, since I'm on earn by time, they're going to send me some kind of offer now. Please don't send me something with ridiculous miles because that's the only thing I cannot take. I can't believe I'm actually being forced to do this right now. But I need to make some money, I'm broke. Y'all, there I said it, I am broke. I need to deliver some no-tip orders with DoorDash, it's the only way. So what will be the first order that comes in? I'm sitting here, I got lots of merchants here near me. Come on, DoorDash. I'm on earn by time, this is what you wanted. This is what you want all dashers to do, is earn by time. What's it gonna be? We only got 30 minutes on this dash. So we need to make the most of this time. I mean, at this point, we just banking on getting some tips because if I get an offer with no tips and I don't spend enough time on it, I'm going to make, what, $7? Let me know in the comments below how much you think I'm going to make for this small 30-minute shift here with DoorDash Earn by Time. And also, let me know, do you think I'm going to lose my mind by dealing with a no-tip customer? Will I even get a customer at all? These are the questions that are going through my mind as I sit here and wait for this order to come through. Because as far as raising my acceptance rate, if I even get on the schedule with Earn at this point, or order with low mileage so that I can get my ratings up and I shouldn't even think about making money right now. I'm not, I shouldn't be trying to make no money with DoorDash. I should just be happy that I'm getting the opportunity to get an order. This is what they want us to do. 
$15 active time. We got 4.9 miles at wing stop going straight to the college campus, man. Oh my goodness, guys. Estimated time, 27 minutes. Well, looks like this is going to be the only order I'm getting because if they telling me it's going to take 27 minutes, my only hope is they extend my dash and look. I'm finna accept it. We heading to wing stop, man. I'm, at least it's not a 10 mile order because it definitely could have been. At least it's not a 10 mile order. Wing stop is right down the street down there. You see there's lots of traffic out here. We finna head on over to Wingstop. Man. I mean, they possibly send me a stack, so I could be in a position where I'm getting two points added to my acceptance rate going in the right direction. So that's that's the most I can hope for. I'm probably gonna receive $7 in pay, and this might be the only order I do this whole hour. We've talked about this in previous videos. One of the things I can't stand about Wingstop is, for one, they make you confirm the order, which ain't the biggest deal in the world. But when you out here trying to maximize multi-app, you're getting sent stacks, it's just another annoying thing that us dashers have to deal with. And the most annoying thing that I have to deal with at Wingstop is they try to make you feel the drink. Like, bro, it's literally one of the most unsanitary things they could be trying to have us do. DoorDash support always tells you that you don't got to do it. But yet these Wingstop locations and others too try to get dashers to feel these drinks. Like, no, it's your job. That's in your job description. You shouldn't ask or expect DoorDash drivers who for one, out driving all day, touching all types of things, that's unsanitary. You can't expect them to be filling up drinks. And as a business establishment, as a franchise owner, you should be ashamed of yourself if your managers, general managers, employees, whoever, are asking dashes to fill them drinks. That's disgusting. Come on, do your job right. But we pulling up the wing stop right now. We got like 30 seconds and we about to pull up to that joint. All right, in real time, we got the good old add-on special, an additional 2.1 miles, estimated time 19 minutes at Panera, which is right across the street. It's actually right behind me. You may be able to see it. Yeah, that's the red car right there. So what, well, we got 66 seconds to accept this. The one good thing is this is gonna at least extend my time, and at least they sent me an add-on that's only an additional two miles. It gets brutal out here when it comes to DoorDash earned by time. Like, that's an understatement. It gets really, really brutal. And the thing is, we ain't stop gonna be like, oh, can you confirm the order, please? Let me go ahead and see what kind of bullshit they finna be on up here. Pickup time is 2.09 on this order, so it's probably ready. Yes, sir, I got, uh, I got this name right there. I can't even, they on point today. They getting drinks ready, they getting everything ready. I appreciate that. There ain't no way both of these can be no tip orders, right? We have Panera Bread now. So they gave me an add-on, extra two miles. This one's probably gonna be ready. They got the exact same pickup time. Really? They always have them Nice. So let's see, we've probably been on these orders for like maybe 10 I'm not sure exactly. I'm just trying to get at least a couple dollar tip on each order and a decent base pay. That'll probably give me at least 10 bucks. When I only had the one order, I thought, okay, maybe it's only gonna be like $7 for 30 minutes. But now that I got two orders, you know, it's taking me a little bit of time to at least get them both delivered. Wingstop had me waiting for like maybe five minutes. No biggie. They always had you wait, but you know what? They filled the drink up this time, so I'm cool with that. I can't. Hey, you gotta take what you can get out here in this gig economy. And then Panera, that one was ready. So that order was probably ready before the Wingstop order was ready. But that's pretty much how it be going. DoorDash gotta figure out how to get these orders out. And they wait for somebody either to be out there accepting every order or hit earn by time because they desperate. Like me, I'm desperate right now. So I didn't hit the earn by time feature, something I don't normally do. And uh, at least I look, two orders, and I and the thing, like, I'm gonna get two separate base pays on these, right? Because when you pick up a stack on earn by order, they taking that $2 away from you. And that's a that's feature that they use in order to fund these earn by time orders. Because here's the thing, base pay, pay, is $2 on, on an order. Now, the way DoorDash is able to increase the base pay on earn by time is because they taking two dollars away from the dashers who doing double orders on earn by order so i give you an example if you're doing earn by order like like a previous video i just posted if you do a stack on earn by order you're only getting two dollars in base pay but if i do a stack on earn by time like this maybe if they send it to me as a stack that's a different story but if i get an add on order and it's probably a big potential that it's gonna be no tip on this order i gotta have two base pays right he gotta be. find out. Look, I'm heading to these deliveries. We finna find out. Cause if not, I'm about to be mad as hell. My God, see, this is that college campus nonsense you gotta deal with. First customer talking about some left side of the building, number four, up the stairs, first door to the left. Oh my God. 
This is how you know it's gonna be no tip because look at all these delivery instructions they got. This is crazy. You know this college kid and they don't even understand how this works, but they got all the instructions and only a little bit of money. This is crazy. Stand corrected. You know what? I didn't get my earnings after dropping off that first order. So I may just get one base pay on these orders. That may well be the case today. And now I'm just like, look, I hope both of these had at least a little bit of tip. DoorDash did not let me extend my schedule. There's no, they didn't let me extend my shift. There's no slots on the schedule. So this is it right here. If I don't make over $10 on this in this 30 minutes, I'm done. Cause uh, it ain't gonna be no more money making, but man, at least they was easy deliveries. You know, it's been a lot worse. You know, I had a lot worse, so I'm not even really tripping. I just need them to send me good orders. That's my whole thing. Just send me good orders. Just dropped off the second order, allowing me to hop back in there. <sighs> well, you know what? Look, at least I got Dash now again. A day allowing me to hop back in there, right? No, wrong. They are not. I'm in a whole new zone. Did y'all see that? I, I'm a, and I think the second customer was the non-tipper. I think she was the non-tipper. I just handed her the food, and I'm glad I got a picture too. Oh my God. There was no tip on the wing stop order, and she smiled right in my face too. $11.63, $11.63 in base pay. So a good base pay on both orders. $3 tip. So basically, I'm lucky I got that Panera order. Cause if not for that Panera order, I'd be sitting at less than eight dollars and sixty-three cent in DoorDash base pay. That's crazy. Nine tippers. At least she was out here to get the food, and it was a leave at door. And I'm glad I got that picture too, cause that's crazy. I cannot believe that. Let me see. I'm so disgusted right now. I am absolutely disgusted right now. And there's no dash now available. They saying I could dash now in Wood River for an hour. Lord Jesus. I just made $11 for 30 minutes, which ain't even the worst part. It's just a nine tipper. Like, she could have threw a dollar on that. One dollar would have made that way better. Just one dollar. At least see if my ratings changed at all. Whoa. Did DoorDash reset my acceptance rate? What? My acceptance rate say 100%. What the heck? Did DoorDash just reset my AR? What the heck just happened? I swear I was just at 22%. What just happened? I think my AR just got reset, y'all. What? That's crazy. I don't know what's going on. Like, I didn't really accept this rate reset. I didn't get no email. I don't know what's going on. All I did is turn on earn by time. I had a 22% acceptance rate. I showed this. I showed you guys this earlier in the video. And now we are sitting at an 100% acceptance rate. How? I do not know. Look. And it's been a minute too. I thought it might change. I thought it might have been like a little error. No. 100%. And that's a reset because it's in gray. I knew something was going on when everything stayed gray. So be on. Hey, you have seen it here on this channel. It may be an acceptance rate reset coming in store too in your market. But look, I made my little $11. I just got a banger Uber Eats order with $22 surge. I'm about to end this video right here, guys. Look, check out this Uber Eats order, man, because this is absolutely crazy. Look at this. $36.09 for 13 miles at Red Robin. And guess what? I'm here right now. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed watching me suffer a little bit, hit that like button. But look, may not be no suffering no more because with 100% AR, look, hey, they say, now hold on, they want me to go to Hawaiian Bros for an extra six miles for eight bucks. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take that simply because it's bringing me back this way. I'm going to just go ahead and take that because $36 plus eight, that's giving me $44 in one hour on Uber Eats. Let's go. Look, I'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm out.